As a part of the conceptual class, we introduced you to Hive. What we'll do is we'll also get a hang of Hive as a part of the practicals as well. I presume by this time you would have definitely set up a Google Cloud platform. If you haven't done that, please visit our installation section and go ahead and set up the Google Cloud platform account. Once you log into the Google Cloud platform, you can click on this navigation menu. Within that, go to the data proc, click on the clusters. The cluster you have created shows up here. Click on that. The moment you click on that, you will get this screen. Then click on the VM instances. You'll get a SSH. Click on the SSH. And sometimes if you have blocked the pop up, then you may receive a message like this. Ensure that that is allowed. Unblock the pop up. Click on the connect. Okay, there you go. We are connected to a VM. In this VM, all the Hadoop core components along with Hive is installed. That is the beauty of Google Cloud Platform. Now we can access the Hive in different ways. We'll get into the specifics of that in the upcoming lectures. As a part of this practicals, we just tell you how do you log into Hive Terminal and then create a table. We'll guide you step by step. Before you get into this, after you launch it, go ahead and create one notepad so that we'll start typing all of our Hive commands as a part of this notepad. And it will be handy for you to use that in the future. So I have created a one notepad, name of the notepad being Hive Practicals. There are different ways of accessing the Hive. One of the way is just type in Hive. After typing a Hive, you will get a Hive terminal. Now, before we really start working in the Hive, Hive is a open source data warehouse. We got to create a database before we start creating the tables. Let us go ahead and see first, do we have any databases in this Hive or not? I'll say show databases. If you haven't created any database, you'll get only one database name called default. In my case, I have already created a database called Blisspans Academy. That is the reason it is showing up. First and foremost thing is go ahead and create a database. I will type those commands here so that you can use those commands for your future references. Say create database and the database name being hive db get a column copy this come back to the terminal and say control v that's it a right click is not working here so you got to type the command in your notepad control c and come to the hive terminal and say control v I executed a command. This is our first Hive command. Aren't you excited? Yes, you are. Now, let us go ahead and say show databases. There you go. You have created a Hive 
db as one of the database after you created a hive db as one of the database before you start working in the database you have to say use hive db use hive db right then we are in the hive db database now we are all set to create the table in hive how do we create a table very simple let us go ahead and type that in our notepad say create table awesome we created a table how did we create a table we use this particular syntax pay attention here since you are creating a table mention a table and this is the name of the table customers is the name of the table then you got to provide the columns in that table you are creating in this case i have provided three columns id name and address pay attention here i am providing something called begin string and string these are the data types after that close the brace and end that with a semicolon once you hit the enter button you have hive table created but how do i know the table is created or not let's go ahead and check that say show tables here look at that we have a table called customers do we have a data in this table not really how do i check whether i have a data in this table or not say select star from customers nothing is there here we don't have any data in this table let us insert data into this table how do i do that that is also very simple let us go ahead and type that in notepad there is a error here why there is a error that is because what we have done is we have not provided the name of the table correctly so let us go ahead and fix that now instead of customer i'll say customers this is how typing a command in notepad helps easy to update if you see here the way we have inserted the data into this table is insert keyword and into we are providing the table into which we are inserting the data then we are providing the values after that open the brace and provide the values in this case i am providing 1234 arun and karnataka so after this close the brace and provide a semicolon so we ran this command it worked fine how do i know whether i inserted the data into the table or not go ahead and run the query that is select star from customers you would be able to see whether you have inserted the data into the hive table or not you can see the data whatever i have inserted appears here we'll insert couple of more records and wrap up this practical as of now 
we have only one record inserted into this hive table now we want to insert few more records into this table let's go ahead and do that we ran this command to insert the data into the table called customers as if now you can see some execution error just neglect that if you go ahead and check select star from customers you can see these three records are inserted now the way we did that is we said insert into customer values and we gave record by record to insert the data into the hive tables wonderful you got a hang of how we work on hive we'll see more practicals in the upcoming classes thank you